for myself, my, my first adult bonding memories with my brother were at Blue Bomber Games in the 1990s. I had season tickets in the student section. Back then, they were $100 for the season. Those of you who know my brother, he likes a good deal. So, of course, he saddled up and got in on my student, student tickets and hung out with for about five years. For t did not look like a student in any way, shape, or form, but <laughs> there he was in our section. For those of you who didn't know him well, he went gray at about age 22. So by this time, he definitely did not look like a student. Sadly, that was in the 90s when we had the best receiver of all time, Milt Stiegel, but not a whole lot else. So we didn't win a ton of games back then, but we fell in love with the Bombers and we became even closer. Fast forward to 2019, the Bombers win the Western Final. They're in the Grey Cup. We've had a couple of false starts in 2007, 2011. The Grey Cup's in Calgary. My brother's the typical kind of guy who's willing to jump in his vehicle on a few days' notice and head out. So head out he does. He comes to meet, uh, comes to meet me in, in Calgary to go to the game. My weekend goes from some planned fun to utter chaos. Why? Because Alan always wants to experience everything. He has a major fear of missing out. He wants to go to every event, see every band, get autographs, do everything. It was an absolute whirlwind of fun. We hit every team party. I literally woke up one morning with four stamps and two wristbands from all the team events we went to that one night. Uh, we saw his friend's band play three different times, and then we watched our team win that elusive Grey Cup. They had not won since I was 14 years old. It was an incredible day, capping off an incredible weekend. But as is the case with Alan, it certainly wasn't over yet. About 9 o'clock Sunday night, Alan knows a guy. He always knew a guy for anything at any time. It was uncanny. So he knows a guy, in this case, a guy who could possibly get us into the team celebration party last night, that night. So our adrenaline starts pumping again. I know where the place is. We run down. And of course, Alan's getting flack from the door guy. Without even, even hesitating, he says, oh, I'm with the mayor. Newsflash, he wasn't with the mayor. <laughs> I sit in the corner cringing, going, oh, God, Alan. 15 minutes later, we were in the party. We were drinking from our beloved gray cup, filled by Winnipeg's own shirtless wonder, Chris Strebler. Thanks, Fitzy. I considered that weekend possibly the week best weekend I'd ever spent with him. It was amazing in so many ways, spontaneous. It connected our, our memories of the 90s to today. And I was in awe all the week after, thinking how lucky I was that he came out and shared that, that weekend with me. That memory now feels like it was a decade ago.